Hi, I'm Hami, and welcome to my tutorial on some drop shadow basics. When I first wrote um, my first layout tutorial, uh, it was in Photoshop Elements 3 and did not have um, all the options that uh, PSE 6 and 7 have. And so someone has asked me to go ahead and um, do a tutorial on uh, the basics of drop shadows. And so I've taken some photos um, to help you understand a little bit more about drop shadows. Um, I just threw my stapler onto a white piece of paper on the floor and I had my husband hold a lamp up in uh, different directions. Let me zoom in on this a little bit right here. You can see here with this one, the drop shadow is down here on the bottom right hand side. Therefore, the sun is actually, or the lamp, we often um, will talk about it as sun, but the lighting is coming from the upper right hand corner and so it casts the shadow on the opposite side. This is the default setting for drop shadows in Photoshop Elements and in a little bit I'll explain to you why that is. But let's look at the next one. The next one, um, the lighting is actually directly overhead and you can see there, there's a little bit, very very little bit of a shadow right around the edges and um, that is what happens when the sun is directly over the object or the light source, whatever the light source might be. And in the last one, I put the light source right here on the bottom right. And as you can see, it's casting the shadow onto the upper left. I'm going to say the wrong one. I just know I am. And so let me um, uh, share with you next this little pick that I have. Grabbed it off the internet somewhere. Um, this is just a, a, a little stick figure of somebody reading and I want you to picture your digital scrapbooking layouts and uh, of your maybe traditional ones, uh, paper scrapbookers that they might use. And when they're looking at their layouts, how are they going to hold the layout or the book. They're going to hold it up, probably not like this guy here, maybe a little bit more slanted out than forward. And um, so where is the light source going to be when you're holding that book in that way? It's probably going to be, oh, let me put this up a layer, it's probably going to be up here in this corner here, casting the shadow down to here. Well, if you Imagine, you know, uh, looking at, at this um, from this little guy's perspective, where is that going to be? That is going to be the same as looking at it with the light source from here. Now, is that light source going to be down here coming from this bottom? No, because that's down here in the lap or on the table. So down here in the bottom of this would be similar to having your light source here. So we rarely use that. That is why the default is up here. Now let's look at this one where the light source is um, uh, directly above. Do you ever, ah, I'm grabbing all sorts of things. Do you ever <laughs> look at your books with them flat down on the table? Well, the reason we don't, one, it, it's awkward sometimes to see at that angle, and two, when you have to move your head over the book uh, to look at it, what happens to the light source? Your head blocks it, and then you can't see very well. So that, you know, there are reasons why we tilt our book the way we do and then that these are the same reasons why this um, this one here is your default for your drop shadows. I hope you just learned a lot there and, and that 
that made a little bit of sense. We're going to look at the bottom ones later. Let's look at the settings in um, Photoshop Elements. I have my sun layer here um, active as the active layer. And here is the soft edge drop shadow that is the one that is most often used in digital scrapbooking. And I, as I apply it to my sun, you can see that the shadows are on uh, this edge here, um, which is similar to this staple. And that's why this is the standard one to use. Um, to change it, you click on the little FX here. And it brings up the style settings box. Well, I'm trying to decide where to put this so that we can all see it. Um, you have the lighting angle here. And you can see that it's set so the sun or the light source is up here at this angle, just as we had said it was up here on this stapler. And that's the default that's most used. Occasionally, you're going to change it. Um, if you want to have it, and you're watching here, to be similar to this one, you would just simply drag that around to the other side. So you can see as I move it, the angle of the shadow moves around on this sun here. How do you get it so it's straight up and down like this? Well, that would be distance. So if I take the distance all the way down and the size all the way down, a combination of both actually, distance all the way down, size very low. There we go you're going to see that that now looks more similar to this. So if you wanted your page to have something that looked like it was, um, you know, very limited light source and directly over it, you could change it to a setting similar to this. Um, now why do we use, uh, let's, let's um, cancel this and go back into the uh, defaults. Why do we use, um,